Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video, and a rainy day is a perfect time to do it, is all about setting up a no-dig garden. And today I'm going to show you how to put the cardboard down. And if it's a little bit wet, or a lot wet, that's best, because on a windy day when it's dry, it's going to blow everywhere. If it's a windy day, you want to have two people helping you, and you're going to want to weight the cardboard down. What is a no-dig garden? It's exactly what it is, and I have to laugh because I did a video, we just passed the hole where I called it a no dig initially, but I did dig it the first time. Going forward, it's gonna be no digging. However, I changed it to a once dig garden. So it got me thinking, let me show you exactly what a no dig garden is. Why it's valuable, the pros and cons. And we're gonna set this up today, it's raining. And basically what you're doing is you're using a material, cardboard is best, you can usually get it for free. Start saving it now. And it would be perfect, a no-dig garden would be perfect for setting up an area like this. It's a lot less work, it's very effective, and you can plant in it right away. In fact, we're putting this down today over green grass. I'm going to be planting lettuces and potatoes in this space. And this is sort of a trial space, it's a small space. I would love to expand out here, but my wife wants a green area, so I'm kind of pushing the limits right here. So when you do a no-dig garden, you're going to have to spend money on compost. Sometimes people call it mulch. The difference between mulch and compost is pure mulch, like shredded hardwood that's fresh, isn't broken down. It will become great compost. It will become great material for growing in, but you have to know where it is in the uh, decomposition, de -com decomposition stage. You want... So this is what this area is going to look like at the end of the video. If you want to learn just about everything you can about No Dig Gardens, check out Charles Dowding's YouTube channel, D-O-W-D-I-N-G. He's been doing this for at least a decade. All of his beds are No Dig, and he has some really cool progression videos where he puts in the seed or the transplant in the beginning, and he just shows you the whole growth through the video. So you can really get a sense of how well No Dig Gardens perform. Compost that is just about 100% broken down. This is a leaf grow product, leaves and greens, perfect for growing in, perfect for what we're doing. However, if you don't have a lot of compost, you are going to have to spend money, and that might be one of the downsides to a no dig garden. You have to have the money to buy enough compost to do this, or you have to be producing enough. Now, I'm going to be producing tons of compost. If I try not to get water on the lens, kind of go up over there that whole right side going down my garden is going to be compost so next year I should have almost an endless supply if all goes well so you do have to spend money on the compost for what we're setting up the positive is it's effective vegetables grow extremely well you don't have to put any labor in digging into this ever now the setup is really important this is one layer of cardboard I recommend two you are creating a dark space over your growing area. And whatever you're growing in, you want it to be about four feet wide so that you can reach in from either side and tend it. In some places, we may have walking paths. I'll show you how to set those up in future videos. Today, I just want to get the setup with the cardboard and the compost. Now, let's start with where a mistake would be. You don't want to do this. You see all the gaps where the flaps are, they're not overlapping. All your greenery is just gonna take off and grow through there. So you really wanna spend the time now putting the cardboard down right. And what you do is you start on one side, you can see how the gaps are there, and then when you put down your other pieces, rotate them so that the flap from the next box covers the gap from the previous box. And you would do that all the way across and you would set up your space. And I'll probably have my walking path right down here, and this will be about three feet on this side, three feet on this side, maybe four, if I push it a little bit. And maybe I'll go 10 to 12 feet out. I'm gonna do follow-up videos in this space to show you how well the no-dig gardens grow and how they really work. We're gonna put in lettuces uh, this weekend. I'm also gonna do uh, no-dig potatoes here. If you wanna subscribe, I'll show you how to do all of that. So. Once this is down, let me do that next, get this all set up. We'll go to the compost and I'll talk more about that. All right, so I finished putting down the cardboard. You could go with one layer. I would go with two layers or just make sure you really overlap the edges. When you're overlapping, kind of killing the gaps where the flaps are, 
try and go in four inches, six inches. You don't want to skimp on that. The whole, skimp on that. The whole goal is to put a blanket of darkness on here, where very few weeds, hopefully none, can get through. And again, we're putting this down on fresh grass. We're going to be able to plant on this right away. Maybe not everything you want the first year, but we're going to be able to put a lot in here. Now this is about let's say eight feet by 12 feet of growing space. The outer edges, they're not done yet. I ran out of cardboard actually, but I'll get more. You're gonna leave six, four to six inches along the uh, edges just to make sure the weeds over here don't creep in. So this will be more of a dead area. So I'll put a nice thick layer of cardboard here and probably some boards down and trim it out. You just don't want the weeds to come in. Now, we're not disturbing the soil. So the root systems will grow, grow right into this. Earthworms will come up, microbiology gets involved, and all the good stuff on the top gets pulled down to the bottom, and it creates a nice soil going forward for your plants. You also hear that if you don't disturb the soil, the plants are stronger, less diseases. I think that's a little bit of a myth. Um, could be true, but I don't want to sell you this on things that aren't true. This is the easiest way to get a garden started. This is a perfect size for brand new gardeners. You have to put money into putting the compost down. Now we're gonna do that now. We're gonna put down four inches to six inches of compost. Well broken down material, my leaf grow. And then on top of that, I probably put one or two inches of the shredded hardwood. And I'll have a nice six inch planting base for my greens, for my potatoes. And I'll show you how I do that in the next video. Perfect space, let me back up. If you're just getting started, and you have the compost, or you have the money for compost, I really recommend no-dig gardening. It's the least amount of work. All right, let's put the mulch down. So I put down my compost. Before I cut the video, I said mulch. We're putting compost down first. I mean, technically, compost can be used as a mulch. But this is well broken down material. It's the compost. It's what the plants are going to love. On top of this, I'm going to put about two inches of shredded hardwood. Now, this is five bags of leaf grow. And the bags are right over there, 1.5 um, foot cubic bags, about four or five dollars a bag. So you can see that the downside of the no-dig garden is it can be expensive. So to deal with that, I mean, part of what I'm doing is I'm going to just make tons of compost this year so that I can keep feeding this spring, mid-season, fall. So that's what's also what you want to do is you want to have enough compost to keep putting it on top of here over the seasons over the year and it'll take care of itself it'll be a perfect area if you're doing a big space I in intended actually to do something smaller but once I got started I'm like well I'm gonna make this into something I can really use so I have, I have to go get more compost now buying it by the bag is the most expensive way check out your local landscape companies ask them what they have for composted material for gardens it's a lot cheaper to have a big truckload dumped into your yard and you could set up your garden that way. Now we're going to leave four to six inches on the edges so let's just talk again real quick about the compost. Four inches deep in compost I think that's about 10 centimeters. We're going to put another five centimeters two inches of shredded hardwood across the top. I'll set that up and show it to you with this space. I think I'm going to put my walking path right down the middle you could go this way if you wanted, every four feet. I'm going to go right down the middle. And you want that to be, it really only has to be a foot to two feet. Um, what is that, 30 centimeters to 60 centimeters, just so that you can walk. We're just not going to put the compost there. We're going to put the shredded hardwood, save your resources a little bit. All right, let me set this up, show you what it looks like, and please subscribe. I'm going to plant in leafy greens and potatoes and do a whole series on no-dig gardens. So it's looking pretty good. I made one part of the uh, bed there, a little bit higher than four inches. Um, before we go to there, I just want to show you inside the garden. In here, I have plants growing in nothing but double shredded hardwood. Now, that's what they call it in my area. You can get any kind of finely shredded wood. It could be hardwood, softwood. You're not going to know, really know anyway. It's a combination. You can grow in that. That is pretty much a no-dig garden, just a different version. They're just, those are potatoes that are overgrown. We're going to be planting some of those actually to see if they grow. Raised beds, containers, that's a lasagna garden with the uh, red tomato cages. Why do I do it different ways? I just find it enjoyable. And it's 
my channel is a teaching channel. I want to just show you that there's different ways to do things. Now, the double shredded hardwood is good stuff. This is six months old and you can see the fungal activity and it's basically broken down and ready for planting. It could go a little bit longer. If you're thinking about doing this, you could order a truckload of finely shredded hardwood, let it sit on your property a good six months, it'll break down from the fungal activity. You can use that here. It'll be a cheaper way to do it than to be, you know, buying bags of compost. But sometimes you have to do that. The reward is going to be wonderful because you can plan in this year after year after year, so you are putting money up front, but you're going to be rewarded. So here is the leaf grow, great stuff. And it's only about one inch of the shredded hardwood in there. I'll be able to plant right into that right away. Leaving this alone, we're going to put more cardboard down, uh, shredded hardwood on here, and probably some boards. You just want a nice uh, border between your grass and where you're growing. This is the four inches of the compost just set up in there. That will get hardwood. And then I did, you know, foot, foot and a half path right down the middle. When you're setting up your cardboard, take out any staples, any uh, plastic tape or anything like that, or yeah, the plastic tapes, just take it off the boxes. I like using any box that has flat print on it, like ink that is flat, not glossy. People say you can use the glossy print perfectly fine. I'm just not sure. I've heard both stories that you can or you can't. So if it's a high shine glossy print, just decide if you want to use it or not. If it's flat printing on there, like your Amazon boxes, perfectly good. All right, so this little space is really set up. I can put leafy greens in, but I'm gonna finish out the whole space. Put potatoes in on one side, leafy greens on the other side. This is outside of my fence, so I'm gonna use chicken wire in a way of laying it down, show you how to keep the rabbits away. It might deter the deer, but if they're hungry, they're gonna, they're gonna come in here. Please subscribe to my channel. I will complete this in a whole ongoing series. We're gonna grow in a no-dig garden um, all the vegetables that I'm growing in my main area and you can just kind of see you know how well they do If you get four to six inches of compost down, you can start right away. No worries. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at the